and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. And many ladies and gentlemen, it is finally happening. I've been waiting to do this for the longest time ever. Every time I try to get you on the show, you're either out of the country, <laughs> yeah, doing another hit song. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to have you, Moonchild. How are you? It's good to be halved. I'm awesome. Thank you. How are you? I'm great, man. What is your full name? Suddenly see you. Meaning? We are satisfied. Ah. <laughs> that kind of makes I like sense. to hear my name after a session. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Baby, say my name. Uh, say my name. <laughs> It's like, no, I don't want to hurt you. I'm like, bitch, I said spank. <laughs> like, no. Uh, no. I, I was once interviewing some girl in love, who's a big fan. Ah, that's my girl. Yeah, and she was like, um, whenever uh, you work with Diplo, like, Diplo worships the ground you work on. And I was like, no fucking ways. Because he's one of my favorite producers Mine of too. all time, dude. Mine too, dude. How did you end up working with him? Um, I guess it was... I guess it was the music because it's very um, connected to South Africa. Mm. He's got people here and he knows what's popping. So it was the music. And also speaking to people. Oh, so I also found out that he knew David. David is, um, I got hooked up with David to be my lawyer for the US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And David does like a lot of artists. And so Diplo is like one of his friends. And when I was talking to David, David was like, oh, I was talking to Diplo with you. I was talking with, um, I was talking with Diplo about you. Blah, blah, blah. He's going to be coming down soon. Yeah. And then I so w- Diplo already knew about you? Yeah. Wow. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. Like, literally, I've, like, ticked my boxes. Like, three global dreams yeah. are ticked. Like, Beyonce, Diplo, and Gorillaz. Because I'm going to be coming out in the latest Gorillaz album that's You're dropping soon. You're fucking kidding me. Honey. You're kidding, son. No, dude. Look, wow. I've even got a tattoo with Damon Albin, the front man. What? We got the same one. Hmm. Dude, I used to fox with gorillas, man. Dude, I still fox with gorillas. Oh. My first fashion runway show was also two gorillas music. So when I was working with them, the project I was telling you about, which is doing well in the UK, mm. um, is with him. Yeah. So we've got like a lot of songs and it's doing so crazy. And it's just like the moment you say to a London person or the UK person that um, you're working with gorillas, it's just like, what? Yes, I, I, like I, I, I put gorillas on the same wavelength as Daft Punk. Yes, like they're yes. that legendary, you know? Hell yeah. Shit, so you never got starstruck? <laughs> what is that? I don't. What? I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm ready for the stuff that happens because I write it down mm. and I actually take a box and then I write my next mission and I take a box. And so for me, it's me getting my missions sorted and done. It's humbling to know, but I mean, I can't lose focus, you know? Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. What are you writing in you right now? Um, <laughs> what box are we ticking, ne- uh, ticking I've next? Tick, I've, t- I've ticked my 10. I've ticked my 10 years. Yeah. I've written my next 10. Wow. We, we ju- what just we ju- watch me be global. No, but I'm, t- I'm I know being on the this. podcast is one of them, so tick. Tick. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, there's another one. Like, there's another one. Um, <laughs> There's another one that's loading for 2020. It's crazy because um, I'm writing for so many musicians now mm. in and out, not in and out. In I've written a few um, outside, mostly like commercial American artists. Yeah, and so like the Rihanna song is doing well. I can't say anything to anyone about anything. Mm. Um, but you're just gonna see. I mean, like Coachella. I didn't tell nobody I was going to Coachella. Yeah, how dope and was that? I just dropped bro? it on my Instagram. How dope um, was that? That was fucking crazy fuck i can imagine dude. it was so crazy it was so quick it was so lit it was so fucking it was just crazy and i was playing with diplo because we just played together in miami and then we played together at because uh, i went to la to his place then we recorded 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 then we played in miami um, at a strip club and then we went to play in coachella yeah, speaking about a strip club uh, the first time i hey. met you <laughs> <That's> my shit <laughs> was that Do you have uh, a surprise for me <laughs> <laughs> come mercedes <laughs> Uh, first time I actually saw you live for the first time ever was at XO. And uh, yeah, you were dancing. I think you left at about six in the morning because I, I left the same time with you. You were with Kobe. And I was like, oh, Moonchild looks so dope. I wanted to say hi, but you don't know me. So I was like, all right, cool. Let me just admire from we afar. We had TV when we were kids and we watched. <laughs> Weren't you on TV as a kid? Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Shit. Me, I know, I know, I know people and I know people. Like, yeah. 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 So you, you like strip clubs, isn't it? I love strip clubs. I love Do you go to strippers. strip clubs in Miami and stuff? In Miami, I did go. Yeah. So I played with Diplo. Yeah. It was like, you know, it's Wednesday, gymnastics, athletic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so tell me where what? That's why I saw Ty. That's why I got to meet Ty. Then he gave me his 2019 number. Who's okay, Ty? Ty Dollar Sign. Oh, so, Ty Dollar Sign. Yeah. Mm, then Tiplo was like, you have to work with this. You have to. And Ty was like, oh, yeah, oh, my God. And okay, cool. Here's my number. Because I was going, I was, I was doing the US, US tour. So I was going to be going to New York. I'm mm. um, doing a couple of shows there. And then going to LA. My last stop, my first stop was LA. My last stop was LA. Yeah. My first stop was South by Southwest again, actually, in Texas. Yeah. And then um, LA, then everything else. New York, Fuck, you Moonchild. Know, like your life is a movie, man. Mm? Your life is a movie, dude. I mean, I wrote it down. Yeah. I wrote it down. Okay, so where were you when you got the call about Beyonce and the Lion King? Um, Do you still remember? No, it wasn't that. I've been working on this quietly this whole year, actually. From the time she wo- she used Iwo Kepara, yeah. I was already um, helping with the research with um, regards to exposing, I mean, showing them the, my favorite artists in South Africa and people that were popping. Okay. So before even Iwo Kepara, after Global Citizen, yes. I was with, the, the, with Beyonce's eyes, basically. Ooh, Kwesi is my friend. And then we just went around Joburg. I showed him different artists and all that jazz. The surprise was them choosing my song after I was, I was so open about every other musician. You know, mm. it wasn't that thing like I'm gonna show you my family. I'm gonna keep you to myself. Type yeah, of yeah. Shit. So um, and also he, when he met me, he was introduced to me because when he was in the U.S. and coming down, he asked a couple of people like from blogs, like OK Africa, people like the people the right people. I mean the people that he trusts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, about who to find, who to work with in South Africa. Yeah. So we got a lot of people saying Moonchild. So when he came here, he was looking for me. And then, yeah, so I met him at the me- at the launch party of, Bl- of Global because the whole team, Beyonce's manager, the whole team was there. Yeah. Dancers and stuff besides Beyonce. <laughs> 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 yeah, so uh, yeah. we did the things. <laughs> and um, I've just been quiet about it since. So yeah. by the time I'm doing Coachella, at Coachella, actually, I saw them again. And um, he was just like, so now the thing was, I was making music and I was sending melodies and stuff and ad libs and shit like that. But I didn't know what songs were gonna make to what. Mm. I don't know. I didn't know what the project was. I just knew it was for Beyonce. Mm. So um, we've just been working on that because even when I was with Diplo, they called him to say, Yo, we know you're with Moonchild. Can you also do another song for the project? That's how I kind of got what it was about. Um, when they, because the people was like, yo, does Beyonce know you're here? I was just like, no, I don't know. I know yeah. Casey knew I'm, I'm in the US. Mm. And it's like, no, they know you're with me. So they want a song right Have now. Have you ever met Beyonce? Not yet. Mm. But you've spoken to her? Not yet. Mm. But I saw her watch my stories. <laughs> I just took a screenshot of that shit. I was, I was watching an interview. But apparently she loves, like, loves, loves my music. Yeah. <clears throat> I was watching an interview between Ed Sheeran and uh, Charlemagne the God. I've seen that one. Yeah. Actually, I'm thirsty. <laughs> 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 and actually was like, was like okay cool so before he worked with Beyonce he was just famous like but he could go to the shops and buy milk or whatever but after working uh, working with Beyonce his stardom just rose and it's another yeah. level of stardom is that the same with you? Hey, I don't know hmm? like what nothing has changed since you worked with Beyonce or with did this me I mean money's changed <laughs> I don't know anything else. I mean, the money's changed. The conversations have changed with regards to like the stuff I'm going to be dropping next year. Yeah. And um, and the plans and stuff. Like, definitely a lot has changed. Not me. Mm, mm, mm. So I don't know if I'm oblivious or if I'm living in a bubble or what. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm okay. Just, I don't know. I really don't know. All right. I was sitting in the toilet the other day. I was like, I literally had a moment of like, what the fuck's happening? Yeah. And you had to I pinch yourself. And I back. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> okay, let's start from the from the beginning, man. Because yeah. uh, you've been in the game about 12 years now? It's the 13th now. 13th. And it's surprisingly like, I'll be honest with you, I only heard about you uh, maybe two, three years ago. Yeah. After you worked with my Maporiza. Mm-hmm. But when did it all start, eh? 2006, Durban. Um, I started with poetry. Oh, okay. So, first time perf- performing, performing was, because I always wrote, right? Um, I did the stage stuff, whatever, whatever, but like, I didn't consider my writing poetry because I didn't, it didn't sound like any poet I, ever, I've heard about or any poetry I'd heard. Mm. And I didn't listen much to poetry. And I didn't like poetry at school. What age were you when this is starting? Because um, first year I was 17. I oh, okay. to 16. So, first year I was 17. So, I was 17 that time. Mm. Um, I started in Durban, was... I was in Durban doing art and design. And then 18. 
So when I was 18, so 17, da, 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 I did the poetry during breaks, finding out about studios, all that jazz, started recording. 18 was 2007. Okay. And then um, 2007, that's when I heard about a mic situation. Mm. So now I'm like, people are like gathering to hear this poetry all the time. I'm just like, I right, cool. Yeah. Because um, it was just like literally my personality. Yeah. And I, get, I got bored with poets in general. It's just like, are you a victim all the time? Like, <laughs> I'm a victim all the time. So there was this poem that used to shock that was like, anger leads to many things that mislead me into pursuing consequential actions of passion and sessions of sniffing. Stripping for him, hoping I'm taking this disease off my skin. It's a sin. So dumb and unaware that his sausage is about to be burned eternally in my grill. He gazes into my pages, licks and browses with his tongue, I permit. Tell him he'll bear this gift for life. He grins, perplexed, but dismisses because he knows it's not pregnant. So you see, I'd already impregnated him with my love, or else I thought. Anyway, the player he was imprisoned, his risen thinking. His plan was lay and leave me, but in the heat of the moment, he stops to get a condom. I smile and hypnotize him with my moves. I give him my poked plastic. I put it on him. He's so intrigued and impressed by my taking charge and full control, and bam, it's done. It's over. He's over. As he laid there all tired and sweaty, I softly whisper, boom. I'm going to be in your life forever. You see, I've just handed you a lifetime voucher. You can go and claim your prize from the nearest clinic whenever. I blow him a kiss and leave him to be. Oh, and remind him to take very good care of my friend. Her name is HIV. Hey! <laughs> hey! So that's the poetry I did. What? What? Um, yeah. Jeez, I just got a heart on there. <laughs> I know you can't see, <laughs> but... <laughs> I'll give you a pop plastic and I'll give you this AIDS son. <laughs> Is that a true story or are you just like, you know, you just... I just hated women acting like victims mm. only. Because also the true story is, so now when I was writing this stuff, I'm not remembering that it actually did happen in my real life, right? So in my real life, my mom, there was this lady who was Ziwe. <coughs> it was in my hood. And then um, every night when she was going to go out, she, had, she was HIV positive. Yeah. And I think she was infected because she, and she was loyal, so she was bitter. Mm. Mm. Oh, she, she went on a mission, yeah. rather. Yeah. And then her parents, it was a Shippin Gubo, and she was older. But my mom just, I don't know, liked her. And yeah. would make sure can, she takes her check ARVs. Check the drinks there. Check the drinks And make sure she there. takes her ARVs every yeah. day. Hmm. So Zuzi was a mission every night. She'd come to my mom's house. There. They're there. Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, nice, nice. Cool, cool. Yes. Yeah. So um, she'd make sure that Zuzi would take her ARVs. So Zuzi would come and say, so tonight she's basically finding another married man to infect. Wow. So she was targeting married men yeah. to infect every single night after taking the RVs. That's crazy. Can so you get that was my there? real life, but I didn't yeah. realize when I was writing it. When I was writing it, it was just like empowerment, empowerment, empowerment. Yeah. No matter where it comes, how it comes, whether it's shady or, you yeah. know. Um, and so, yeah, that's, it is my real life. And then when did you start with like jazz and stuff? It, it, it just flowed. Yeah. I mean, I wrote music as well, mm. um, but I started in the poetry circle, and then from the poetry circle, in, in within that, I had to do like some songs, put some song music in the poetry. Yeah. Um, from then on, we heard about Blazing Fridays, which was a hip hop session that was happening outside. That's oh, where nice. Zach was there. Zach was there. Mm. Mm. Song, best song in the poetry in the hip hop space. Mm. So poetry would be daytime, and then in the evening would leave poetry and go to hip hop. Mm. Um, Busis was there as well. That's my girl. We've been friends from then. Mm. Um, because we were the two different ones, and we didn't like a lot of the poets. <laughs> <laughs> They're too deep, man. They're too deep. You're just like, what are you doing this shit for? Because you're not touching, you know? Because, exactly, you know this poem? As much as people were scared about it, I ended up being an ambassador for AIDS Wise and doing universities when I was still in university as well. Doing universities and doing this, going with nurses, finding out about condoms for lesbians, finding out about condoms for tongue thingers and shit like that. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was, it's one of those things. And so, basically, what it is for me is like, my authenticity has always worked for me. What you may fear, especially when now you're working with th things that are supposed to be raising awareness, yeah. and you're scared of my bumsy, oh, you're gonna struggle because yeah. they ain't going nowhere. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm about to get a trainer now to make sure I'm amplifying. It's <laughs> our. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I heard you got kicked out of home because. I'm well, uh, thank you very much as well. Thanks for asking. Uh, I heard you got kicked out of home because um, you got pregnant. Is that true? No, I ran away from home at 19 to chase my dream. I got pregnant in the streets. Mm. So then you never got kicked out. No, I ran. Why did you run away from home? Because I was either going to kill my uncle or be big enough to name and shame him. Mm, I'm lost. He touched me. He touched me and licked my neck and squeezed my bum. All that jazz. It was, and I was just like, drums. Mm. And so I remember I was just like, I'm too cute for prison. 
Mm. So shout out to Vanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I was even more motivated to just fucking fuck it up or fuck it up or fuck it up. But then I got that magazine. Yeah. And it wasn't enough. When I named and shamed him, it wasn't enough. Then I realized it wasn't about that, actually. It was, pos- it was about me going through an experience where when I'm talking to, when I'm talking and I'm empowering people that have been violated, mm. um, I'm talking from an experience point of view because there's a v- vulnerability that goes with that or a power that comes with that um, outside of observation, outside of just observing. Mm. And, you know, um, so it was a lesson for me to be able to touch more people yeah. because not everyone's going to be able to have a platform. Not everyone knows their voice matters. Mm-hmm. Not everyone's voice is listened to. True. So some kind of, I don't know, um, comfort for those that need to find strength in leaving that situation. I yeah. know there's a girl in Zimbabwe right now. I said The last two songs basically speak to her. Like She was telling me that um, her husband told her he's not leaving his side chick of two years. Mm. He's had a side chick for two years. And then then the following week she's saying she's like and now she's pregnant wow and she's broke so she can't leave him she's like that this is a girl in Zimbabwe so I just sent her music to empower and I told her what book to read da 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 um, basically she needs to empower herself first you know? and have you have you seen your uncle since sure they see me you know <laughs> <laughs> well, your actually pa- I did okay funny enough it was at Bat Center when I'd run already I think two years after they saw me on stage. Okay. And I performed and I left. Yeah. Mm. Well, what were your parents during this time? What are your parents saying? My dad breathes in Port Elizabeth. Um, my mom passed away when I just started varsity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Back on, my dad's in PE. And what, what does he think about you and your fame and your success? I'm sure he's proud of you, man. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> when, when did you when did you start getting your big break like who gave you your big break in the industry which one is the big break part uh, the big break I guess it's you know when you think you've made it or you have made it I think I'm gonna make it so you haven't I made it I know I'm gonna make it you haven't made it not to what I want yet ah Moonchild you're performing at Coachella you're doing a song with Diplo I still need a full set of my own I still need my own number one album in the Billboard charts. This is a step. Yeah. I still want my own. Yeah. So you can't recollect a time or a place where you made your big break and you're like, all right, cool, I've made it. I don't know the big break. I know my excitement with every opportunity I get. Ah, okay. I know my writing with every studio session I have. Got I know you. my faith with and hope with every song I release. Yeah. Um, so you give it your all and you let it happen. Mm. So for me, I started, I'm on phase, I'm on stage one, phase two, which is my global yeah. mission. And, and during this time, was there ever someone who told you you never make it, you're not going to be a star? All the time, especially with my image that I refuse to change. So this image was from when you were 17, 18? I used to be right, let me show you. Yeah, yeah? I even got a tattoo. This is me. This is the tattoo 2010, so this is my look um, for the seven years. Okay. 2011, I shaved off my head because Rihanna had that video and people started wearing red. Yeah. And I started getting acceptable and I was like, I ain't your friend. So I shaved my head and started afresh, did this and painted it. Wow, you painted it? I own the copyright. Wow. Why don't you see people with my hair? <laughs> that is crazy. Yep, I own the copyright. Yeah. At such a young age, why are you even thinking about copywriting an image? That I've never I grew up in the streets, nigga. 2019, because I was, I was sheltered. But my mom was a hustler, so even though I had to figure out shit, I figured it out very fast, very quick. And thank God to a lazy boyfriend who helped me have accommodation when I ran. Um, he also helped me grow very fast because his laziness made me become a, like a woman fast, fast. Mm. Okay, when did you start meeting Maporisa now? I met Maporisa um, at Coke Studios. We were doing Coke Studios 2015, I think. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I remember that. Or 14. Yeah, 2015, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And he liked how quick I was writing. He liked my vibe. Yeah. He didn't know my music. Mm. <laughs> but he loved my vibe when we were working. Yeah. I was just like quicker then. And, um, yeah. Literally, it was that. And then, after two years, we bumped into each other again in the studio session. I think it was with And then, we just be making music, music, music until... The song. Mm. And the song was Naile Walk, ne? Midnight. Midnight Stere, yes, yes, yes. yes. Hey. It's so funny because that verse, I'd written it for another. I was literally sitting on the bed and I just took the paper and I wrote. I was writing to a Root Boys beat. Oh. A different one. Okay. 
but it's a good thing that also then when they played me the song i was like i've got something they played like it was like first 10 seconds yeah. i was just like i've got something because that's how i work in general yeah, yeah. and then i go in and i, I just sing. i haven't heard anyone else yeah. on the beat, so i don't know who this was on yeah. i don't even know what the story is yeah. but it fits so well when they played the whole thing i was like what and this was there when i was recording so they all were quiet yeah then they played the whole thing. Then we literally took that song that same night, took it to the club, just take, test it out. Wow. And, was a vibe. and that's the part that everybody sings along to because it's so catchy, man. I love it. Because you do that. Yeah. You know, you do that. It's a real action. Yeah. So it's easier to, re- I guess it's easy to relate. When do we start going to Europe now? When are we going to Europe? My next tour is now in October. No, I'm saying when did it start? So you're 17. Europe, about five yeah. years ago. Okay. I started touring five years ago. Um, through IMEXA at the time. So I'd get through IMEXA, TTI would pay for it, and then i just like, make the shows happen. Mm. But I'd be picked by the festival judges that come to South Africa. From the dis- to, um, South by Southwest judge would come to find everything that's fitting. And I'd be the only one who fits every festival. Wow. Out of every competitor. Like, I'd be like, oh, you fit more this. I'd be like, everything. So I'd like every year, I'd, I'd win like everything to a point where they'd be like, I'm being favored. But I'm like, oh, nah, I'm just the most hardworking, I guess. Yeah. Now, what music are you performing at that time? Because Electronic. My electronic stuff. The same stuff in South Africa I was performing to an Afrikaans audience. Oh, okay. Because I was doing oh, the white festivals. I'd be the only black girl doing... The only black. The only girl. <laughs> like, backstage, the, the girls doing the paperwork. You'd be like, girl, thank you for representing us. Even the journalists just want you. I'd be like, I right, cool. Let's get it. Was that a conscious stuff. decision to make electronic music? Because I'm sure that time everybody was doing house, you know, the normal I stuff. I never wanted house. Even mm. when I was broke and got offers. I was like, I'm not going to... You've be been broke? Person. Nigga, I was fucking tucking my tummy pregnant six months because I had a lazy boyfriend working, picking up tables, sitting in the beach waiting for the sun to rise will be able to go to the taxi, doing double shifts with a new person he's studying at the same time and doing two different courses. And my boyfriend would sit at the restaurant and do AT for me to make money. Like, yo, you don't understand. Yo, that's crazy. I ran away from home. Where the hell do you think I get money from? Yeah, yeah. So. Shit, that's crazy, man. I could never picture you broke, bro. You wouldn't see. I mean, mm. I make my own climate designer, so mm. I take your curtain and wear it. <laughs> That's, <Swag. laughs> That's fresh. Okay, cool. So now you're rocking these festivals, and then, then how's the reception of the Afrikaans? People Lips. singing back, yeah? That's why I got booked. They love my shit. Opie go Opie vibes and stuff. Opie, uh, I do Opie like three times in a row. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, we can't have you four times a week. <laughs> just skip a year and come back. And then, but then the years, as it goes, I'm getting higher and higher the fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the last year, I was just like, I'm kind of with you. How much are you worth right now? Right now, just like a, a show, a normal, uh, normal show is like, it depends. Mm. You can like 70K wow. and stuff. Um, it depends. And 70K, that's for the team, not just you, right? Because you got a whole team behind you. I got a whole team. What's the lowest you do for? Like, what if what if I got like twenty k? Fuck you! <laughs> I'm saying fuck you to my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! And you got a team internationally as well, ne? Yeah, I've got a global team. Mm. Um, Lauren and Elena. They do my stuff there. Then my booking a- my booking agent for Switzerland is um, Jen. Yeah. And he does my bookings, so he's doing. He's in charge of the bookings for this tour now in October. Yeah. The other tours, it was Lauren who was in charge because I did the US tour already and I did the European tour as well. Yeah. And then I um, did a bit of um, the Anvil tour as well. Yeah. So it's supposed to do America next month, but then that's postponed. It's going to be soon. Isn't it crazy when you overseas and people are singing along to Marke and they don't even know it's what Marke beautiful. is? Isn't it, bro? It's, lit. it's crazy. It's beautiful. And I'll tell you this: like the only the people that have. A real, real audience in clubs and in actual spaces. Because I even got to do a 75-minute show alone at BAM where people just sit down and drink wine. I was just like, they were like, don't worry. It's not an offense if they don't stand up. I was like, don't worry. They've never met me yet. Mm. Cool twerked. The whole fucking table. Everybody. <laughs> no, at people that sit, sit on the door twerking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, welcome to the moon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got booked same night for yeah. the next show at BAM. So this is in New York. And I did watch Carla. I was calling and saying my date was K9. <laughs> like, T.I.A. <laughs> um, it's so cool. And then um, LA, Titana wants me to stay in America because we were looking at my stats. Mm. And my top 10 are like, let me show you. Yeah, yeah. My top 10 is crazy. There's no South Africa, there's no African country. Yeah. My top 10 sales. Mm. 
It's, um, That's insane, man. It's fucked up. Why do you think we're sleeping on you or what? Streaming. No. I haven't caught on too much. Because even with, like, um, when we do talks with, like, overseas, you also end up doing talks. Like, I'll do talks with, like, Pandora. I'll do talks on how to be a global um, African brand, whatever. Yeah. And so it becomes, like, it's lit. It's lit. And we wrote this down. We wrote this down. United States is the first one. And then the UK. Top 10. So it's US, UK, Brazil, Canada, Netherlands, Germany, France, Australia, Sweden, Australia. That's a surprising one. I've played once there. Yeah. And they're asking me back. And then this is in America. In America. These are the top cities where your music is banging. New York, LA, London, Chicago, Brooklyn, San Francisco, Atlanta, Toronto, Dallas. It's crazy. Yeah. It's um. All right, let's talk about the fun stuff now, man. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about your relationship. Yeah, status. that's fun. This is my money. <laughs> and don't you have fun with money? Jesus. <laughs> boy, try it. <laughs> uh, what's your relationship status? Are you are you are you freelancing? Are you taking? What's going on? What's good in the hood? Hmm. That says you take it. You're smiling. You're thinking about him right now, ne? Him. Mm. Oh, okay. Her. It's anything. Love is love. Yeah. It's anything. I mean, right now, I mean, I broke up with my ex last year. <laughs> last year. Shame. This is the same nigga that was waiting tables, though. Another nigga. <laughs> nigga, I think I'd be here if I was that nigga out here. No. <laughs> yeah. I left. When I left to come to Joburg, I left. Yeah. Everything. I came with my red suitcase, my sewing machine, and 500 rands. Yeah. What is that? It sounds. It smells strong. What is that? CBD. CBD? Yeah, it's the, just to relax you. They sell it in Centen Mall. They've got like the, yeah. Mm. And there's THC and CBD. Yeah. I take CBD. My doctor says I've got a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so, <laughs> so you broke up with this nigga, so are you freelancing right now? Is it safe to say? You take it. It's not safe to freelance in this day, man. Mm, mm. So what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> boys I'm don't trust me. <laughs> I'm trying to know if boys I should hand in my CV. And I don't trust them. Mm. I don't trust boys. That's why I give them non disclosure contracts. Oh, you do that? Is that a real thing? Yeah, it's a real thing. Yeah? Yeah, but the last one didn't get it. <laughs> God. <laughs> and so, um, but yeah. Uh, I don't no, man, boys don't trust me. You know, I talk so much shit yeah. that they are fascinated, but in real life, when they're with me, they don't trust me. Yeah. I'm, I'm a lot. But you look like you're a good layman. You look like you'd fuck me, not the other way around. I mean, sometimes I give children a chance. (laughs) 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 Oh, God. You know? What type of guys are you into, though? Or girls? Depends. What does it depend on? When it's girls, I like them cool. Mm. I don't like... Do you like the macho girls? Mm. Mm. I like them cool, like, like, like... Like, um, do you, do you know Whitney Easton's girl for years, Robin? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that vibe, like, uh, got you. Hip, I like them hip, I like them punky. Do you remember the first time you were with a girl? I've never been with, with a girl, I've been with a girl. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've been with a girl. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that first time? Yeah, it was disgusting. I was on my parents and she went oh, down on me. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> One child. How does that even happen? Shinka. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was awkward for you? No, it was fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, oh, fuck. Anyway, I eat up. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Because the thing is, boys don't eat well, you know? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. eat like girls. Like, girls eat. Yeah, no, no guy will ever eat you like a girl, you know? Nah. And you do you eat girls as well sometimes? No, I mean, I've eaten a girl in the threesome and stuff, you know, mm. with my ex. Uh, so it was two girls, one guy. Mm. I can see I'd that. It's surprising sometimes. I'm like, close your eyes. Yeah. And then, like, girl, come up. And he falls four hands on his body, and then it's like, hey, let's get it. Yeah, it was Surprise. lit there. Wow, that guy got it all, man. I wonder who this guy is. I gotta meet him, man. It's late now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, and do you ever play with yourself? All the time. Man. I'm always even showing you my favorite toys. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Huh? If I see your story, I'll be like, "Hello, 
with my penis. <laughs> I'm a penis, I'm going to make it. My favorite, my famous one, the, the blue one. You yeah. don't know the blue one, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where else did you play with yourself? I haven't had to. <laughs> 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 uh, what mm. about, do you, do you have a porn habit though? Hmm? Do you have a porn habit? Go to my safari, first thing you'll see. Ah, what, what genre do you like? I like, I like agents, I like massage, I like um, couch, mm. I like... Couch interviews. I watch OGs. Ah, OGs. Yeah, um, I like The Red Room. The Red Room, which one's that? It's OGs. Oh. Just check out The Red Room. What is it about OGs that you like? I don't know. <laughs> it's <just> nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. And it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, and it's and nice. The thing is, I'm turned on by people watching ha- me having sex. Oh, I got you. It turns me on, like. Yeah. It's so nice. Is it, is it like being on stage? Ah, oh, got you, got so you. So in the like in the sex club, we'd, me and my ex would use the um, silhouette room. So you didn't watch the silhouette of us fucking. By the are the, are the sex like clubs in, in in Joburg? Yeah, I've never been to one. <laughs> you gotta show me one, bro. Uh, is it like a underground thing, or is it like everybody knows? An, no, it can't be an everybody thing. Yeah. It's a safe space. Ah. It's safe. You don't see people acting like animals there while people are walking naked. Like someone's walking naked here. So if, like, I'm, it's just like, mm. so if I'm dating you, I gotta be ready for anything. It depends. You only get privileges when you fuck me good. Mm. Who was the last guy who fucked you good? He's cute. <laughs> <laughs> and young, he was 24. Is it? Ben 10, Ben 10. No, it's a Ben 8. Ben 8. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I tweeted it. about him. I was just like, I think a 24-year-old, but 23 is the age, but they meet you, like, energy, energy, touch and go. So, ah. Have you ever been with anyone famous? Diplo doesn't count. <laughs> does, does, does size matter to you? It does. And technique. Ne? So you're not fucking around with uh, niggas that uh, have teaspoons and shit? I mean, you know, sometimes, I don't know. Nah. You need to have energy, man. You need to have energy. I ain't fucking around. There's no energy. What's the point? You know? mm. I love sex. Yeah. And the thing is, if it's just like basic, then I don't even pull up my shit. I mean, you won't even touch my whip. Yeah. It's just like. Ugh. What's what's basic? Know. What's basic to you? I'm trying to picture, you know, getting with you because it sounds like yo, you gotta know your shit. Yeah, but you don't even attempt to break my leg, you know. Mm. For me to be like, I. Yeah, okay, now I'm going to bring up the guns. And it's just like, hey, scratch, I guess. Scratch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any limits? Is there something you wouldn't do? Fisting? Fisting. No, I don't feel like I'm giving birth every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about anal? Would you do anal? I do anal. Yeah, yeah. Anal's my shit. Anal's your shit, ne? Yeah, yeah. And I gave birth to my daughter. Um, I had to wait three weeks for my vagina to heal. I was getting it in the ass. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to wait a few few weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To come back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was fucking in the ass. Still horny. I was like, ah, yeah. I got another hole. <laughs> Bang again. That's um. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I love anal. I love anal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You know, what do you feel about people that, because you're so sexually liberated and mm-hmm. you're open about that. What do you feel about other women who might, you know, judge you and be like, ah, why is she doing that? She's such a hoe, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. You're probably just doing the missionary and don't even know what the word orgasm means. Mm, mm. So you should ask questions instead of hate. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be that missionary bitch. You may la paisasa complain about the cue because you never got pleasure. You were just a nut busting hoe. Yeah. Mm. 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 And do you ever give, like, your friends tips and stuff? All the time, even strangers. Even strangers? Yeah, like there's another girl on Twitter. She's like, I've been married for 10 years. And um, 
I mean, my husband ten years and my husband doesn't want to do anal. How do I get him to do anal without yeah. him calling me a hoe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has like blindfold that bitch, take him to a strip club, go to adult world to be specific, and go to the cinema, watch a fucking movie, and or get a cubicle, buy a movie, watch it and fuck. Mm, just like that. Just like you just lubricate that fucking anal and just slip it in. Yeah. Uh, your kids is the same uh, baby daddy or different daddies? In South Africa, nigga, it's different daddies. <laughs> what do you think, yeah? Bitches run. Guys, <laughs> 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 oh uh, you fucking kill me, bro. All right, cool. So we're gonna play a game called Story Time. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you a name of a celebrity, mm-hmm. and then you must tell me if you got a story with them. Tell me the story. Aye. All right, cool. First uh, one is the Antwoord. Um. Whatever story you got, whatever first uh, pops into mind. Um, the unvert snakes out of my vagina. What? It's coming soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you had me fucked up there, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> you don't see it soon. Is, is that a track that you guys are working on? Can't talk. Ah, okay. I remember I, see, I saw some of your snaps when you were touring with them in Europe. You guys looked like you had a lot of fun. Yeah. They don't even drink. They don't drink? What? What are they on? Are they mushrooms? and Nothing. Oh. Uh, what about you? Have you tried shrooms? Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think of shrooms? The sky got bluer. Mmm. And the, the trees got greener. And they looked like they were connected nicely. I was like, oh my God, the sky and the trees are so pretty. And then I was like, it must be the shrooms working. I was like, oh shit, so they're working. Yeah. And do you like them? They were cute, man, but I'm just fine. I was just checking. Mm. I'm not a drug person. Yeah. What about the uh, yams? Oh, psychedelic. I just, I like weed. Mmm. I prefer weed. Yeah, it was weird when you said that when you actually record you sober, bro. That's weird, man. I oh, know. Yeah, it's crazy. Why? Cause uh, you want to respect the art. I don't want. to I do. Mm. My art, at least. Yeah, yeah. And I'm in control, and I know what I'm saying because yeah. I write stories. Like, I have written tipsy. Have you? Yeah, but like I just write stories, not like uncontrollable shit. Mm. Um, right. yeah, I write stories. All right, next name, uh, Bonang. Bonang, I met her at Mzanzi Magic Awards and she said she loves my music and she said to take everything and I said I'm here for it all. Yeah. So she's a big fan of yours. Mm, she loves my music. Yeah. And I heard backstage she was making sure she says my name right. Saneli or Saneli. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking awesome. Dude, who did you look up to when you were growing up, huh? Look up to... Um, Mm. Whitney Houston? There was Brenda because I remember even the talent shows that sing Brenda Fast songs. Mm. Um, Liva Matosa? Yes. Mm. I loved her. Um, Tandy Iswa. Oh, Tandy Iswa, yes. Kafas and Leta. Mm. Um, um, I mean, uh, the thing is, oh, and Destiny's Child. Oh, okay, okay. Wow. Um, I, Spice not Girls. Spice Girls, oh, yes, yes. Um, they were huge, eh? Yep. Yeah. My friends didn't have internet at their schools, so I used to steal Spice Girls songs, the lyrics, and put my own melodies, mm. and we were Pepsi Girls. Yeah, yeah. And my mom would organize the shows. Yeah. And then money contributed to the church or something yeah so then my friends started inviting me to different churches because the church would get money from my mom organizing <laughs> shows after i teach them dancing yeah because so, i did ballroom and latin oh i was so cold. i did ballroom and latin dancing it's yeah. not really like this. slim yeah. i can't believe you're rolling your own weed bro i think uh, by this time you'd be have someone a roller or something no yeah you don't fuck like that yeah well, i'm a fucker yeah, well. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> nah, I found one, son. No. Yeah, okay, cool. Next name, uh, Black Coffee. Black Coffee greets me when he sees me in the streets of Paris. Yeah. And in South Africa now, because he sees me in the streets of Paris, like, really working. Mm. Would you ever do a track with him? <laughs> yeah, he's in my next turn. Ah, okay. I'm, I'm starting to like this turn, eh, this next turn. It's looking lit. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. 
And how big of a deal is Black Coffee overseas? Because I don't think Lit. we don't understand. Eh? It's huge. He's huge, ne? Many people that like people that I know have real audience there. I get asked about the Unvort, Black Coffee, Trevor Noah, Show, my Josie, and me. Music. Oh, music! Yes, yes, the yes. Four, uh, the, the, the four of us. Mm. People that actually have like a real audience there. Yeah. Like it's the four of us. And you did it the other way around because Black Coffee was first big in SA. No, I started there. Coffee. Coffee had been overseas first before SA took him in proper. He was working with Red Bull. I remember he, reading about his strategy. When I was at Red Bull Studios, when Red Bull Academy 2012, and my mission was the same one. Yeah. I started the strategize for here, then put it together. Mm, got you. Uh, all right, next name, Sumizi. He did a, a nice video dancing to my kid. Okay. Um, <laughs> when it was popping, when it just came out, um, that was lit. Yeah. And. I fucking fucks with his vibe. Like, he's awesome. Yeah, he's dope. And this yeah. is a nice example of just, like, lifespan and this thing, you know? And longevity. Longevity. Is that important to you? Yeah, this is my breathing. I'm staying here. Mm. So the power of reinvention is the magic, yeah? Mm. Without losing yourself. What does that mean, man? Power of reinvention has Beyonce been able to be consistent and relevant in oh. every, with every generation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the power and of reinvention. And still being at the top. And still being her. Yeah, yeah. Power of reinvention. But I think you, you don't have to worry about longevity because there's no other uh, moon child out there. I know, and I make every genre. <laughs> <laughs> every genre. Even Batanga. <laughs> and game, I've got a song with my Hotel Queens actually. Yeah. It's in that album that's doing well, that's it. Mm, mm. The fucking lit. Dude, I'd love to be in studio with you just for one day, bruh. And they, I make a song in 10 minutes. Everyone mm. who works with me for the first time is always shocked. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, what? When? It's like right now. Yeah. So if I if I'm a nobody and I want to send you a beat, I can just send you a beat. Or how does it work? We 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 got levels now. Chances is like I'm not gonna hear it if you send it directly to me. Mm. It's a reality. Mm. Mm. I never used to understand it when I used to send shit to people. Mm. And now I get it. Who would you send your stuff to? My team. And then they go through it and then. No, who would you send your stuff to? You just said um, you'd never get it when you. I remember it. asking for an internship from like. Um, this is if is this? What's his name? Fuck, I forgot. And Uyanda Mbulu was also another one. Yeah. Yeah. Bro? Yeah. At the time. Yeah. Yeah, but like I knock, and I think I don't know, I don't remember the people, but it was Facebook, and I, yeah, I knock on doors. I don't have any goal. It comes to my dream. It's yeah. About my dream or my dream or my dream. Fuck what you said. Mm. All right. Uh, and then. Zoto Abandu. What's that? We were talking together at the Devon Chile. Yeah. I love it. We were talking about who's going to weigh less. Mm. Mm. Isn't that? How, um, is she, how is Zoto? I've never met her. Eh? She's awesome. Yeah? She's exactly what you see. Mm. It's, it's, she's exactly what you see. She's fucking awesome. I love Zoto. When they talk about people that stand for pussy power when I'm overseas in interviews, I talk about Lady Scully. That's my bitch. She just made the coin, the five round coin. She just designed it. Mm. Um, yeah, I call her, she's coin bitch now. Oh, I call her coin bitch. Mm. And she does like, she, it was her first exhibition just recently since, I mean, she was always doing stuff overseas and selling out and, you know, doing like major shit. So she finally did something at Circa. It's fucking amazing. Mm. Um, she's awesome. She's like pussy power in print. Mm. Um, so terms like pussy power in socials. Mm. Um, mental pussy power and education mm. in, in music. Mm, mm. Um, you know, so those are the three people that would like stand out mm. um, in in SA for me and that stand for yeah. pussy politics. And now there's one more fat stocky. She does pussy party at Kitchener's. Oh, Kitchener's. Yep, where only girls are allowed on the dance floor. Whoa, like what? That's crazy, yeah. man. <laughs> and men with partners, but uh, no single men coming to group anybody. So that shit is lit. So I just found out that that party is hers. Yeah. And so that's the fourth person. Then how is it being a woman in the industry? Like, have you ever met a guy who just promised you the world and just wanted to get in your pants? Guys do that all the time. You, mm. you just need to learn how to say fuck you politely. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck you. So when you were broke, did it never no. cross your mind? I don't do sugar daddies. I don't fuck for my talent. I always said, I'm, so, I'm going to be so great. I'll wait for my time, but I'll be working towards it. Wow. 
no way he's moon child i'm so inspired man like none of this the shit that's happening the vibe i'm getting from you right mm-hmm. none of the shit that's happening right now phases you because like it's like it, it has happened before 10 years back when you were writing it down you reckon yeah man nothing phases you You're like oh yeah beyonce knows me yeah and it's not even like a ego being, yeah yeah you being like honestly it's like honestly honestly for real because even like i remember at coachella um because you know poison ivy she plays for the dallas mavericks mm. nba mm. She's the one who played Micah, that video that got viral, Chelly does what doing to Micah. Mm. So she, she's my U- US DJ. Mm. And, um, wow, you got a US DJ. Listen to that, man. <laughs> That's dope. Levels. And she just dropped it in there. <laughs> she's just like, she's telling me when we were getting our tickets because it was the artist side, obviously. So every artist. So um, there's this nigga who was wearing a sweater, um, was standing by our car, but there was his car right next to ours. And then we go and we come back. So literally two days later, um, they're like, oh, no, she's like, yo, did you see Wiz? So we're talking to Nation, my manager here. Yeah. So they're like, did you see Wiz, Ka- Wiz Khalifa? I was like, what? <laughs> and like, he was right next to us. He literally was staring at you guys. I was like, I didn't see him. I saw a nigga standing there. <laughs> I didn't see his face. And wow. case uh, I'm so like I think I'm oblivious. Like for yeah. instance, there's a a friend. He's a friend of mine now. Um, got introduced to him. Ben Hoffman. He did. He oh, I did two songs with him for his project, and I didn't know he's the same guy who did Monster. He's a Grammy Award winning producer, and he did Monster for Kanye and the other song. Do you know what I mean? But I know when people when he says it, people know it, and they just jump. But like. I was just like, this is after getting drunk on the couch over wine. This is like literally vibing mm. and just being like, oh shit, yeah, oh shit. And I have a lot of those because then it's nice because then I end up connecting with people. Then on I a find out, oh shit, level, you've yeah. got like 30 million followers in your country. Mm. That shit is like, oh wow, okay. Yeah. What the fuck do you know about me? But like, um, I don't know, man. It's just like, yeah. He, Are you spiritual? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. So you know yourself. No, no, no yourself. I mean, I learn on the regular, but pretty much. Mm. I know I know. wording is everything. Mm. The word try doesn't exist in my vocabulary okay. ever. Okay. And if you're in my camp, you definitely get reminded and you end up reminding yourself because everyone's going to remind you what? Especially when you say you tried and you failed. The word try is, is your acceptance of if it doesn't work out. Mm. Try lift your arm. Hmm. Try lift your arm. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. The difference between thinking and doing it is try. You don't try to lift your arm. You just do it. Mm. What is trying then? Mm. So if you put that in your real life, in your vocabulary, you start speaking right. Fuck Munchal. When you write things down, the universe helps you meet them. Dude, I feel like I can take over the world, man. Mm? I feel like I can take over the world. But you can. A whole mission is to um, want children, the black child, to go and rewrite their story and their dream. And know that they can dream bigger because everything is possible. And they'll see it through me living mine. So whatever I say, when I say I'm going to have number one in the Billboard charts in Kongdish hmm. again on my own, I, I mean it. Because when I said it in the past 10 years, if you ask me what's your ultimate collaboration, I'd say Beyonce with conviction. And I've got it. <laughs> so who are you to tell me what I'm not going to get next? Because it's my dream, it's my path, and it's my boxes to tick. I stand so we're going to play this one again when I, when I take that box. Yeah. I, I stand, Moonchild. Leaders, I'm yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy, man. So there's no no for you, brother. No. No doesn't hurt you. I ask. There's one thing my cousin told me. She said she was a psychologist. She's like, the worst that could happen is no. The best that could happen is yes. What have you got to lose? Is that why you want to win? So I'm not scared of shit. Like, the worst that could happen is no. And then I go to Google and I figure out how to bomb that no into a yes. Yeah. Because I'll get it. My patient, it's I'm going to get it or I'm going to get it or I'm going to get it. Is that why you wanted to be a psychiatrist? Yeah, and that's how I use it in my music. Because mm. your music is therapeutic. Like when you, you said. listen to the lyrics, mm. you understand. The, that's why I'll get respect from songwriters. That's why I get a lot of songwriting work. Mm. Because I get respect from songwriters. They listen to what I say, but I can make you dance without thinking. Mm. I can make you say something without knowing what you're saying. 
so you can enjoy That's the music and you can understand. That's a gift. Is it? Yes. I just write all the time. Dude, you're like a superwoman, bro. Hmm? You're like a super. I'm so in love with your brain, bro. Something's coming about my superwomanhood, by the way. <laughs> Something's loading. It's going to come out 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Forget the bum, man. I love your brain. Is it? Yeah. Uh-huh. The bum, is the bum real? Can I feel? Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that bullshit. I'll strangle you with these keys and now. It won't be bondage. No, I'm kidding. Have you, have you had anything done? Like your ass or your boobs? Why? Is it that great looking? Yeah, it's on fire. You wouldn't say you got three kids. No, mm. not yet. Would you want to get something done? I do my titties. You do your titties? Let me tell you something. My titties are my vagina. Mm. I think I'm out here being 48, dating a 40 year old who's going to be telling me he's tired. <laughs> and he's. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Moonchild, which, which rapper do you fuck with? And then they say, like, who do you fuck with? Nasty's lit. Yeah, ne? AKA is musical. Yeah, he's timeless. His music is timeless, man. Um, Questa's dope. I love his writing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you don't look like you ever sad a day in your life. Do you get depressed, sad sometimes? I get mad. Mm. I, get, I mean, I'm human, so I get... All different emotions. Yeah, but you look like... Do you know, like, small small sisters from Black Motion is always just like, ah, we're not... You're such a fairy. He says I'm a fairy. Mm. It's just like, I can't imagine being mad at you. Mm. Mm. I feel like I was just like... like mm, okay, He's right. Fine. No, but I'm also a salesperson. When like, any job I've ever gotten is sales. Like, I walk in and I get the job. And my line was always like, I never bring a CV. Come through. And be like, oh, I thought I was going to bring it on my first shift. Mm. And like, bring a CV. This is TV. I was just like, I thought I was going to play on my first show. And I'm quick with it. So if they slick, I'm here. So I get a job. Walk in, get it, get out. So quitting was easy for me because I've always chased the dream. And I do the job just for rent two, three months. Let's go. And then um, out. I quit again. If I have to wear a uniform, my T-shirt's definitely ripped. But I definitely bring the, the money because I'm good. At, like I'm good with words. So I'm good at selling. Mm. So it works. Wow, I did. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So when you wake well, up, towards things. smoke a joint, and then what do you do? This is your day, a normal day in Moonchild's life. If I've got somebody, I go brush my teeth. <laughs> I'm like morning breath. Yeah. Morning pills? Morning breath. Do you like morning pills? Morning afters. Mm. Uh, nah, but I take um, Baraka. Okay, what's that? Baraka boost. Oh. In it, in it. oh yeah. <laughs> Morning glory. <laughs> oh, God. That's just that should make you not want to go to the shift. <laughs> you know someone is struggling with that right now. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Alright, so now we've drank the Barocca, what what happens next? Um Depends on my day. Oh uh, maps. It's either Maps calls me to wake up. Maps Mopanyan? Yeah, like, no, 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 my PA, okay. my best friend. Mm. She helped me run away from home at 19, so now she works with me. So I like work with my friends. Okay. Um, and the, uh, my colleagues and uh, my, like my family. My yeah. team like my family. Yeah. So even when we fight, because now I'm crazy, so I'm just like, fuck you. And on social media, I'll put your name down. And then, and then I'll write the next post. Don't even try me. You're not allowed. It's a family affair. Because you know, there's always someone who goes, No, let me, man. And it's like, You won't get up. <laughs> so I'll be like, Don't even. <laughs> so they read the one. If you were about to type, you read the next one. I'm telling you, I won't get down. Give me a low. Leave us alone. Um, you win uh, 200 million in the lotto. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do with that money? Um, invest for my children's education for 10 years, whatever they want to study. You'll figure out in those 10 years. Each um, their apartments mm. for when they turn 18, and money for the person to look after their work when they're 18 <laughs> to make sure. <laughs> you know, um, them secure them fully, like for life. Yeah. Even if it leaves me with three million. Mm. Um, and then open no buy like. Land. Land, okay. Land, man. 
I was like out here with a bouquet of flowers. I want to plant my own roses. Can you buy me a section of the land? Out here with flowers. They're all rough in a week. <laughs> now I've got a responsibility. <laughs> Let me plant them in my yard. Buy me yard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? And you buy land, and then what else? Do the school thing where I buy containers and get people to teach um, in rural schools. Oh, okay. Grade 11, 12, how to sew so that if anything, I mean, my machine's always been my power. Mm. Yeah, I can move anywhere with 100 and just make it work because I'm mm. going to sell something to someone and I'm going to make it. So empower so that everything is in your own hands. I yeah. want like, the child to know everything is in your own hands and you can't blame anyone for nothing happening in your life because at least you've got a skill. Mm-hmm. And for as long as you've got hands and you're blaming someone, it's on you. Yeah. It's your fault. No, nah, I hear you. Did you hear something? Yeah. There's a song I did with Younger. Younger? Yeah. Younger DJ. Chief. Oh, Younger Chief. Oh, yeah. There's one I did with Reason too. I know you I've did. got like a lot of different features now. Yeah, I don't know you into this uh, hip hop thing. That's okay. Yeah, you. Yeah. So this is you and Younger. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is trippy, bro. You're already passing the week. Yo, this is trippy, yo. That's that. Big dog. Yeah. Big dog wolf, don't know any other move. Hey. Waiting for these niggas, thought they really in the hood. Hey. Said they really with it, guess I just misunderstood. Hey. Smoking in my kitchen, kitchen but I never see them cook. Hey. What's good? I feel hey. like Pac without a shirt. Hey. Y'all can't Pac do the moves, I just be doing what hey. I should. Like me time, I said forgive him. If they hitting, it's a given. Dominate the written. If they say too much, you hit him. Come up, wasn't pretending. Never try to defend it. Zuck up tax. Hey. I'm a bay lipsin, I'm a bay lipsin, is a becky me lens and is unclean, Kalen, or looking, or trouble, in clocky cleaning, a cakey tabuli. A thousand de kem na mahala no no. A thousand de kem nunga kalango go. I put my foot in your mouth to get leather that tongue. So I put it down when it is in my diet. Hey. So see you kala. Hey. Hey. I hope this is a kama. Hey. Hey. Luma abana kum kala. Hey. Hey. Kota bamba bamba. Hey. Hey. So see you kala. Hey. Hey. That's crazy, man. <laughs> That's crazy. I've always a karma. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Oh, man. That's amazing. <laughs> Are your daughters following uh, in the same footsteps as you, ne? I mean, yeah. She's got an EP out. Is it not? What's going on? Yeah. Literally, when she's in Jobek, she, I mean, has decided Kobe is also her role manager. Yeah. In fact, her manager. Yeah, yeah. So, she just adopts from my team. <laughs> Because there's a time when I had to be shooting here and she had to be in Cape Town to do um, a CBC3 show. Mm. And um, she ended up having to go to with my road manager at the time. Mm. And then I had to focus on this and go with someone from here. Okay, so cool. we had to be split, literally. Yeah. Moonchild, thank you so much for coming through, man. Uh, it can't be the end. Yeah? It can't. No, it's been too quick, ne? How long has it been? I think uh, an hour. No way. Yeah. So that's yeah. Yeah. You know, let me play another song then. All right, cool. Let's. Let's. Oh, no, man. Who's this now? Who we at? Yeah. yeah. Oh, again. Yeah. Okay. Turn the band on. The band away. Just I'm like a monster. Get up by two, get two. Okay, okay. I'm like a monster. Get up by two, get two. 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 Get up
Fuck, yeah, no, that's lit, eh? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up, man. Yeah. Wujal, thank you so much, man. It's been great. It's been great. Listen, man, I wish you all the best. I stand. Thank you. And now, next time I see you, I'm gonna come say hi. Hopefully, you remember me. <laughs> <laughs> we out of here. Podcast and chill. Boom. Hi. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.